Documents, or PDFs, are a common file type for many enterprise companies across a variety of industries, such as financial services, insurance, and real estate. Companies may sit on a wealth of data with no easy way to turn these documents into insights. PDFs are complex in that the information can be interpreted in many different ways, with words, graphs, and charts. Traditional OCR solutions can turn the image into digital text for annotation, but teams often lose the visual information and a lot of context, which is vital for document image understanding and can limit the accuracy of the model. Our document editor is a multimodal annotation platform. You can easily turn stores of PDF files and documents into performant ML models. With the ability to use an NER text layer, you can easily annotate text alongside OCR without losing context. This unlocks greater use cases and potential to help streamline and speed up existing business processes. Now let's take a look at how you can create and get started on a PDF project. To create a PDF project, you'll need to click the New Project button, name your project, and click Document under Data Type. You'll see a toggle pop up, and this is specific to our document editor, and will specify if you want to export your raw data. Click the toggle to turn Save and Export Data on. With this on, the named entities will be exported with your text file. I'll create a benchmark project and will queue my PDF through a batch and catalog. Clicking into the data row, I can see the text layer URL and can add PDFs of interest to my project as a batch. The next step will be creating my ontology. Our document editor supports entities, bounding boxes, annotation relationships, and classifications. So I'll set up my ontology based on what I'm interested in labeling for this project. When you're ready to start labeling, you'll see your PDF rendered in our editor. You can view data row details in our editor, including the external ID, when the data row was created, and the dataset JSON link. In media attributes, you can view the total page count and see the link to the text layer. And in the metadata section, you can see if there's any metadata attached, such as MAL imported annotations. You can easily jump between pages of the PDF by using the arrows to navigate up and down or by specifying the page number of interest. You can scroll through the PDF and zoom in for greater detail using our hotkeys or by clicking Zoom. A unique aspect of our document editor is being able to view your text layer. I can toggle the text layer on, and that will appear any time I want to highlight an entity. We also support tokenization, so you can create and highlight entities at both the word level or character level, and this is determined by the data contained in your JSON upload. So in this example, clicking on a specific word will highlight the entire word. This can be super helpful when labeling text, as it can be easy to accidentally miss certain characters or words. In this use case, let's say I'm interested in identifying chapter titles, anytime the phrase training data appears, as well as highlight any graphs or images that help provide context. I can easily select and highlight chapter titles in all mentions of training data with my text layer. I can also use a bounding box to annotate any graphs or images of interest. Another unique capability of our editor is being able to create entities that span across pages. So say I'm interested in highlighting this entire sentence. I can create an entity that spans across both pages without losing context. The same can be done with annotation relationships. I can create a relationship between two annotations on the same page or I can create a relationship across two annotations that span different pages. To create a relationship over two different pages, make sure relationship is selected. Right-click on where you want the relationship to start, and then right-click on where you want the relationship to finish. I can also classify what content piece this is, so whether it's a news article, a research paper, or a guide. We support radio, checklists, and free text classifications. After your data row has made it through your team's review workflow and you're ready to export, head over to the Export tab and generate your report for download. When you view your PDF export, you'll notice that it's super easy to identify the text, page number, group ID, and token ID. To learn more about our document editor, feel free to visit our documentation.